I think that uh, we can gain a lot of inspiration in the financial services industry by looking at other sectors, other industries, and a great example of uh, one that may provide examples of what to do or perhaps what not to do, believe it or not, is the airline industry. So look at, uh, from the airline perspective, the unbundling that's occurred, where five years ago, you bought a ticket, you got a seat, you got a Diet Coke, you got your bags uh, checked for free, and there's been unbundling that's occurred. Not to say that that necessarily is the strategy for credit unions, but when you look at other industries to see how they're responding to consumer behavior, to changing needs, to uh, emerging technologies, it's a great opportunity for credit unions to look at other industries and see how we could take some of the essence of what they're innovating and relate them back to financial services. Many times we think about the headline-grabbing innovations that, that are occurring. And actually what we've seen is the majority of innovation that is successful is more on the incremental side. So it may be a process improvement. It may be a feature benefit uh, change to an existing product that meets a new need, an unarticulated need uh, differently or better. Uh, and in fact, we see the majority of innovation occurring on the incremental level. That's not to say, though, that we can't strive for the disruptive innovation. And more so than ever, credit unions need to be considering both realms because you look at a lot of fintech startups that have uh, cra crazy names like Acorns and Cabbage and Prosper. Uh, and, and they're getting the venture capital funding that provides new products to consumers, members of credit unions uh, across the country. And uh, almost just as importantly, they're capturing the awareness of consumers that traditional financial players may not be the only solution for them. So it's important that credit unions look at both angles. The Necessity for talent is uh, changing in credit unions. And uh, for CEOs, uh, leaders of HR departments, the way in which we look for talent uh, needs to change to really stay relevant and adapt to uh, the, the changing uh, uh, competitive environment that we're in. So uh, looking for diversity, um, and not just in skin color or lifestyle or whatever the case may be, but just diversity in uh, life experiences and perspectives. So there is a lot that credit unions can learn from artists. There is a lot that credit unions can learn from engineers. And if you're putting together a marketing department, if you're putting together an IT uh, group, look for talent outside that may come from outside of the financial services industry. Again, as we look at Filene for inspiration from other industries, it's a great source of talent uh, as well. So looking for a diverse experience is important. Once you've got staff on board, whether it's for product development, whether it's for innovation, marketing, whatever the department, I would even suggest tellers. You may not want to ask a teller, can you uh, creatively balance your drawer? But you want everybody at every level of the organization to be thinking critically, to be thinking creatively. And once you've got those critical thinkers, those creative thinkers on board, making sure that you're recognizing the, the right types of activity. Uh, so uh, from an organizational culture perspective, begin to step toward a bit more comfort with failure because uh, perfection is the enemy of innovation. You've got to be willing to fail, not aiming to fail, but know that a few of the darts that you may throw at that product development innovation board are going to fall off the side, and that's okay. So making sure that your staff have that willingness to try, make calculated risks, is important. And recognize the wins, also recognize the failures, because I feel we can learn just as much from what went well as we can from what didn't go well.